Our first question is from Alberto Gonzalez 8. What's an ideal split for building muscle mass? Oh, the ideal split. You know, so here's the deal. Of course, there's always an individual variance, right? So The one you're not doing. So workouts that are... I'm going to give some general answers, but of course there could be differences depending on the individual that I'm talking to. But generally speaking, this is true, generally speaking, and if you ask strength coaches and people who train people to build muscle, a majority of them are going to tell you that a full body three-day split is probably the most effective for most people. I would say seven out of eight people, seven to eight out of 10 people, so 70 to 80 percent of people do better, will build more muscle, more strength, get better results, just training full body, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for most people. Other people probably do well with an upper lower split or even a push pull legs type of split. Uh, but I still like a two or three days a week of frequency per body part. I think you have to talk about why we are so pro full body though, because yes, the research and most coaches would all say that and agree, but that's just that. I, for me personally, are you going to go the pragmatism route? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think that there is uh, one of the things that I, I, and it didn't. It took me a long time to piece that together and figure this out. It wasn't something as an early trainer. I try. I train my clients on splits, just like I trained myself for most of my career. It wasn't until way later when like the light bulb went off for me. And what you find is that very few people, unless you're a, excuse me, a very competitive, you know, athlete, athlete where you're being super consistent or you're getting ready to get on stage, most people are going waves. They're consistent for a while, then they're inconsistent, or they do really good one week, and then one week they only hit the gym once or twice. And that type of behavior, which is most people that I've been trained my entire career, they are the majority by a lot landslide, by 80 plus percent. Mm -hmm. Those people do so well with a full body because they still get, they touch everything. At least if you only trained twice last week and you did full body, not a big deal, but yeah. you know where you're screwed. You did a split and you only hit back and chest yeah. and that's all you hit. And then now you, and then you had that same yep. dilemma that everybody has is, oh, I'm starting back up again. Should I start back over or where I left off? And they're constantly playing that game. Yep. Or the other thing you see is everybody skips the things that they need to work on or the things yeah. that are challenging or that are hard. Legs That's are what hard. I see the most. Yeah. yeah with it's, people, yeah, it's easy to avoid things you don't like to do quite as much. Whereas, uh, you know, the full body workouts, you basically have to get through the, the whole entire thing. And I like that it's more functional. So from, you know, from a perspective of, uh, you know, adding in uh, multiple groups that, that you're working on for that for that workout, it, it resembles more of what's going on in terms of like um, everyday life, in terms of like movement and in, in, in sports specific type movement. Uh, and I know there's, you know, there's some emphasis there where I could really like spend some time on uh, getting hypertrophy in certain muscle groups groups that you're really you know setting yourself after but like working the total body has just as much effect yeah so to to add to that um let's say you want to do heavy trap bar farmer walks which are tremendous for building overall muscle and All strength. right where, where do you put that in a split right where do you put that but yeah. if you're doing full body it works just great right yeah. you want to drive the sled uh you want to do a circus press you want to do some snatches or some cleans like where do you put that on a split right but if you're doing full body it works just perfectly. Here's some other stuff too. When you work out, you send a, a muscle building signal that's pretty specific to the group that you just trained. So in other words, if I do squats, most of the signal goes to my legs to build. But there's this kind of systemic signal that happens. And when you train your whole body, that systemic signal is much louder. You get a louder overall anabolic signal than you would if you trained half your body or a portion uh, of your body. So this is also why... It, just tends to build more muscle in a lot of people. Also, I mean, you tend to do the most effective exercises, yeah. you know? If I'm doing legs on just one day, I'll probably end up throwing in leg extensions, leg curls, and all the other stuff. And by exercises. the way, why I like talking about all these things, or these aren't the things that come up when you talk about the research and yes. the studies. Like, they've already done this where they've compared average people, and it's it's superior. Yes. So, for most people. So, just based off of what the results are, but there's other things that you have to factor in, and you know that if you've coached clients for a long time. If you've coached clients, yep. there's so many other factors that, that play into someone being successful other than the the routine the split that they picked or the workout program that they're yes, following yes. and a lot of that has to do with consistency and normal behaviors and i just think that when you do that and by the way like does that mean i train full body all the time no i don't train full body all the time a lot of times i do splits and i break it up and i change mm -hmm. that up all the time 
But then there's also times in my life when I know I'm struggling with consistency. There's other priorities going on right now. Remember when I first had Max, I knew I wasn't going to be in the gym five days, seven days a week, most weeks. I'd be lucky to hit it two or three times. And if I'm going to hit it two or three times, I'm going to do full body because I'm going to get the best bang for my buck. I also like it for this. Like if you're doing full body, you're probably doing one, maybe two exercises per body part, right? That means you're probably going to do squats for legs. You're probably going to do a bench press for chest. You're probably going to do some kind of a barbell row or a deadlift. Like you are picking the best exercises because you're only doing one or two per body mm -hmm. part. The frequency is high, right? You're you can whole perform body. it well too. Yes. And, the, and again, the frequency is high. You're hitting the whole body three times in the week. And you can do that with a split too. So you can go upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower, which will do the but, same thing. But it requires five, six days in the gym. Exactly. So in, in my experience, full body for most people builds the most muscle, gets the best results long-term, just the bottom line. Does that mean splits can't also be effective? No, you can, they could also be greatly effective. Hey, one more thing, by the way, most strength athletes and bodybuilders train that way for years. It wasn't until the late 60s, early 70s where body bodybuilders, especially with the the introduction of anabolic steroids and, and the higher doses that they started using, you saw them doing these kind of higher volume workouts, more specific to particular body parts. But back in the day when they were using no steroids or very low steroids uh, or low dose steroids, I should say, full body. This is what everybody did and they got the best results doing it.